pour out one says I need to figure this out. Maybe when I'm off, I'm going to do this so I can set it back. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I feel a hot mess, literally. crap all day this morning my friend that I normally have lunch with she was at work today and I was just like well damn let me see how to call out because not even call out because I was already on my way there I was asking her if she thinks they'd let me leave as soon as I got done with my assignment and she was pretty much saying yes but it didn't make any sense so I kind of struggled and pushed myself to stay today and then um, called out for my other job because I was supposed to go there but the level of sleep that I felt like I, I somehow needed, I couldn't go. So what I bought is some perfume from Dossier. I was looking up perfumes and then I saw this advertisement from them and I'm like, all right, I guess I'll try it out because they said it was comparable to some of the fragrance that I actually do. But so I bought Florental Vanilla, Oriental Oak Moss, Spicy Vanilla, Musky Musk. Musky Musk was a fragrance that I took a quiz and was recommended. Well, they give samples. Okay, so they give you the samples so you can see if you like it first. All right, so this Musky Musk is in is inspired by Juliet has a gun, Cetalox, ISO E super base notes. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Let me just try it. See if I like it. They send these little testers in there so you can try before you um before you start using the big bottle. Okay, I already think I, I like musky musk. So, oh, I love it. I'm leaving it on me to let it like wear a little bit to see how I feel about it. But I have spicy vanilla. This one is brown. Musky musk is clear. This one is brown. The top notes are nutmeg, black pepper, lemongrass. The middle notes are rose, patchouli, oris. The base notes are vanilla, amber, and I can't call that one. Okay. So um, I'm going to see if I like this one. About to go. Oh, wow, this is not my favorite. Oh, my God. Okay, when it's drying down, it's not terrible. Okay, I'm keeping that. What else do we have here? This one here is Florental Vanilla. It's inspired by YSL Black Opium. And I have Black Opium. So I was comfortable buying this one. Hopefully it smells the same or similar. Yeah, I like... I like what this is giving. Oh, here. So I like Florental Vanilla as well. Keeping her. And then I'm going to try the last one. This is what the box looked like. Pretty cute. Oriental Oak Moss. They said this one is inspired by Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I think I tried that before. A long time. But I think I did. So let's see if I like it. Luckily for me, I bought four. So I have four places that I can spray it on and like let it wear for a little bit. Okay, yeah. Okay, I still like the spicy vanilla. Yeah. 
Oh, definitely, that's good. This one, I need to let it dry down for a little bit first. I feel like that's the only one I'm not too fond of so far. Everything else I like and I'm keeping. How cute is this little... Yeah, I like all of them. This one here, Oriental Oak Moss, is my least favorite. Because I feel like it smells more rosy. But, keeping it anyways, I already have them, so I got four. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the little testers and spray like one on for a day and see how I like it, like how it wears and stuff. But for the most part, <coughs> my head kind of hurts and I ate something. So I feel like what I'm going to do right now is shower while I still have the strength. This tells you about the perfumes and stuff. Anyways, I need to shower while I still have the strength. And like just get myself ready to come lay down because the way how I've been feeling is not cute. But that's all I wanted to pop in and show the fragrances that I got from from um, Dossier. And what's crazy is exactly what they say it's inspired by, it smells like that. I don't know how they do that. But however they, they do, we love it because these are cheaper. I think I ended up paying 20 something dollars for one of these. Of course the invoice wouldn't tell me. It just tells me what I bought. No total. Pennsylvania. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Guys, I can't even begin to express how <laughs> my head feels like it hurts right now. Just now I was on the bus. I just came off. But I was on there and it went down into one of like the cracks on the road. And I could feel that in every part of my body i feel like looking at my eyes too i do look sick but i've been working on it right now the only thing that's happening is um my head hurts yeah i was trying to feel feel it out to see if it's just my head but right now just my head hurts i've been taking um robotussin day and night for the last like two days last night jody told me that um nyquil is better because it's stronger so i bought the nyquil last night on amazon and it should get here today so i'm waiting for it to actually get here to see how that works but i feel like a train wreck as dramatic as that sounds but when i come home this evening i'm gonna sleep because i'm off tomorrow i need to remember to cancel my dental appointment on tuesday i don't feel like doing that tuesday anymore later in the same day i literally feel like crap however i'm going home luckily for me i'm off tomorrow and so somebody in their yard in their yard cursing luckily i'm off tomorrow so, so i'll get to sleep like when i go to sleep right now i don't have to set an alarm if i don't want to i'll just allow my body to naturally wake up whenever it sees it fit but i'm really gonna get some sleep i also bought um nyquil it was delivered and so i'm gonna take some and just sleep and see if i feel better or like how much better i feel when i do wake up i just want this to go away I hate being sick nothing i hate <laughs> like give me my period instead of this oh I hate the flu but i'm working on it day and night because i'm not gonna miss a day of work for this i'm walking home a little winded I feel like even more so now because of this stupid flu but you know we're getting there hi guys so earlier I was talking about the fact that Jody told me to buy NyQuil right when I got home was like a little closer to 4 o'clock I got the NyQuil I took one 30 ml dose of it and I went to sleep sometime after 4. When I woke up, it was 8.50. And I felt so much better than I felt the last two days when I was taking the Robitussin. And it's crazy because the NyQuil that I got, that one says severe. So I'm guessing that is how 
quickly that one works. And I was kind of worried because the one that I bought was the nighttime one. But I honestly feel so much better. I feel like I've been missing out. Because this entire time I kept repurchasing Robotussin. But the way how this NyQuil is hitting, I feel so good I can't even complain. Right now, however, I'm going to eat something because I woke up and I feel kind of hungry. So I'm going to eat something and then I think I'm going to shower in a little bit. I just came back from downstairs to put out the trash. Because tonight is trash night. So, and I made sure that I wrapped up. So I'm wearing this sweater and I wore the robe because we're not doing all that. So, I'm going to eat, but I feel so much better and I'm so happy. And I think this is where I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>